Hey y'all, this is War Monty, and I've put a ton of hours in this game, and I just want to show you how to make the most unstoppable armies in Spellforce Conquest yes. EO. Basically, you're unstoppable, and you can move anywhere you want on the map. Alright, so what we're going to need to get is Defy Death on each of your units, and Follower on them. That basically makes them so, as long as your army wins, your unit doesn't die. So I'm not worried about my guy dying here at all because I'm planning on winning this fight. And Follower makes them absolutely free. Now I don't suggest, you know, getting that stuff on tier one units, but units you're gonna be rocking on your main army should have this. Yes. I'm talking free free. I'm talking no deaths ever, as long as you win your fights. I'm talking you gotta get, it's fantastic. For example, Adele, I could buy, purchase a Paladine which has Defy Death as a perk on it. And all I have to do is equip a Follower Gift, which will make this unit absolutely free. Um, and you can make Glyphs, or you could purchase them or find them throughout the map. Uh, how you make it is from the Artificer. And then on top of that, uh, the Necromancer, you could actually craft a guy with Follower or Defy Death. The Artificer can make the Glyph and it's the Slayer 2 right here, which is two orange bars and a blue bar. Units can also gain these abilities by leveling up, so don't miss them. Let's talk about traversing. Now, you could always catch a ride from your tower, which is really cool. You could just fly around and go places, but the most important thing you need to get is something that allows you to walk over water, aka like rivers, or in also mountains. Getting a pure glyph pathfinder or crafting one is super important or even just finding one that allows you to go over the mountains but it stacks on your whole group and so you could put it on any unit you just got to make sure that guy never dies for example mine is on has death defy on it so if he dies i still could traverse around the whole place as long as i win the fight every apprentice group should have this because you're no longer you know, walking around the mountain or the lake, you're going through it. You're going directly to where you need to go. And it just helps you so much to progress. And there's also spells you could cast for traversing. And the Artificer can craft it with one Adamite and one green bar and one blue bar. But yeah, that's the recipe right there. So, so how this makes you unstoppable is your army is now costing you nothing. And now, as long as you win the fight, no one ever dies. And then on top of that, you could go in any direction you want on the map, which makes you unstoppable, basically. So just so you know, like Artificer is by far the best for this combo, just because he could craft glyphs to ensure, you know, you have all these traits on your characters. Um, however, the other classes could also get access to the stuff they just don't get as much and you get it through different ways like leveling up or spells or you know just finding glyphs in the map or buying them the necromancer would be the second best option just because you could craft units and have them either start with the faller or death defy they also have the perk of reviving and having the biggest army which is a stack size of 10. The perks that the Alchemist class has is you could actually heal insanely well. So you could probably skip Death Defy if you want to and didn't see your units dying anytime soon. So to finish this off, I just want to show you some enchantment buffs that you could give your troops. That way you could even make them even stronger. So now you have basically invincible army moving around, but let's make them stronger. Why not? And so... For example, I'm going to be using this Light Javelin, and I'm going to use Holy Weapons and Righteousness with it. And I will put on one to three spells on each unit in my main army that all have Death Defy, because, you know, if they die, the spell doesn't reset, because it's still there. So it's awesome. And of course, when you're using spells, always use the spell that works the best for that unit. For example, my paladin is holy, so I'm casting holy spells on him to increase his javelin's damage. So that is the way to do that. For example, if I was rocking Necromancer, I would be rocking dark spells. And this is by far the strongest melee spell you could get is 
basically giant strength, which is plus five damage. So get that if you can. If there's anything you'd like to add to this guide, please put it in the comments. And by the way, I only do videos on fun addicting games that I love. So if you like this, please subscribe and yes. throw those thumbs up. And after you follow this guide, you should be seeing a lot of this happening on your screen. Now it's possible to take on the impossible with this setup. Good luck and have fun.